This is me years ago at 14 years old. I was not happy with the way my body looked. I had an average build, no muscular definition and no abs. I got fed up with being average and so I decided to make the change. This is my physique a few months from now. As you can see, I lost a significant amount of body fat, gained muscle and was feeling better than ever. I now felt confident wearing tank tops in public and taking my shirt off at the beach. Since you clicked on this video, I'm going to assume you're between the ages of 13 to 17 and you clicked on the video specifically because in the title it says attractive. So I'm guessing that you want to attract women but also impress your family and friends. And just saying, it absolutely will. Building a body you're proud of is a sign of status, hard work and discipline and will boost your confidence, especially around women. Trust me when I say, building a nice physique in your teen years will pay off heavily when you're in your 20s. So why not start now? You'll only thank yourself later. Now since this is a no BS guide, I'm going to explain to you how your dream body can be achieved at this age, when you're still experiencing changes in your body, voice, hormones, etc. To build an attractive physique is to resistance train, which can be achieved through weightlifting. Progressive resistant training works because the body is designed to adapt and grow stronger in response to greater amounts of stress than it is used to. But not every kind of training you do with weights is going to end up creating a dream physique. You have to do the right kind of exercises using the right techniques. Here are the muscles which you will want to train to get that beautiful Greek god physique as fast as possible. Now before I list them, I want to mention that I won't go in depth explaining exercises and how to perform them. You can do that by yourself with the millions of YouTube videos out there. My advice is to watch scientific research based YouTubers such as Jeremy Ether and look up their guides on how to correctly perform exercises and prevent injury or overload. So, starting with the first muscle group, we have the abs. These are the muscles of the abdomen, which are so important for achieving that attractive physique everyone wants. You've probably tried to follow those get a six pack in five minute videos when you were younger. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, the training abs is so much simpler than you think. The abs are separated into the upper, middle and lower abs, as well as the obliques. When the abdominal muscles contract, a very simple thing happens. They pull the rib cage and the pelvis towards each other in a short crunching motion. A pro tip for you is to focus on training your lower abs. The upper four pack will already develop quite well through a basic weightlifting program, but the lower part will usually remain quite underdeveloped. Once you train your lower abs, you'll notice how much better you'll start to look. Also, do not forget to train your obliques as these muscles will help fine tune your abdominals and maximize your attractiveness as well as overall performance in all sports. In number two, we have the shoulders and delts. Shoulders are incredibly important in helping you achieve the V-taper look, or the Dorito as I like to call it. With all attractive physiques, you will notice their slim waist and thick broad shoulders. This is what gives you the strong dominant appearance. Although it is important to train every part of the shoulder including the anterior and posterior head, training the lateral head is what will make your shoulders nice and broad. This can be achieved by performing exercises such as lateral raises with light weight. This muscle is insane and should be one of your top priorities. At number 3 we have the neck and traps which might be a surprise to many. I mean when was the last time you heard someone talking about neck training? This is a highly neglected area for most people and is underrated for building an attractive physique. A thick neck and traps makes you look more masculine and attractive and less like a little boy. Just look at these few examples. I think we can agree that this makes a huge difference in your appearance even if you're wearing clothing that covers the area. Now a great way to train this area is to perform exercises such as shrugs, deadlifts and other neck exercises. Just doing these a few times a week will improve your appearance immensely. In number 4 we have the arms which is a no brainer. Arms and particularly the forearms make you look more dominant and powerful especially when wearing t-shirts. Like the neck, they are usually visible to others. Now a mistake most teens make in the gym is just going and spamming bicep curls. This is completely wrong. You should train all parts of your arm, especially the tricep, which actually makes up for 70% of your arms. A pro tip is to keep your arm training simple. You don't need a hundred different bicep exercises to see growth. Use weights that you can control and try to train your arms around twice a week with an appropriate amount of rest. Finally, we have the back, chest and legs which are all very important, don't get me wrong. 
I still train them a few times a week. These muscle groups will help round off your physique and prevent you from looking unbalanced. This is especially evident for the legs, which most teenagers neglect when first going to the gym, because they end up just spamming arm exercises in hopes of getting bigger. Most influencers out there are like, oh, legs don't matter much. Girls don't care about your leg size. I strongly disagree with this. Big quads make you look more athletic, healthy, and just overall more attractive. I mean, how often do you see a guy in the gym with nice quads? Make sure you never skip leg day in the gym, as you don't want to look like this. Anyways, let's now move on to the next important part of building an attractive physique in your teens, which is diet. Now, this is a highly overcomplicated topic on the internet, so I'll make things easy for you. Again, you can do your own research on this. Some simple things you can do today is cut out all sugary drinks from your diet and replace them with water and milk, especially unsweetened almond milk, which I highly recommend. Some healthy, simple foods you can eat include almonds, unsalted peanuts, oats, eggs, chicken, avocados, brown rice, and fruits, which will help your body get rid of stubborn fat. Now, since we all have different physiques and goals, your diet will vary. Some people need to consume more protein, while others will have to reduce their portion sizes. I recommend looking into this by yourself and deciding what your goal is. For me, this was building muscle and simultaneously losing fat, which is the case scenario for many teenagers. I was able to achieve this by simply avoiding sugar and processed foods, and doing cardio as well as high intensity interval training in the gym to burn extra calories. I highly recommend that you go out and learn about calories, macronutrients and types of diets, as this is very important in your fitness journey and the rest of your life. Another topic I wanted to discuss was the misconception of supplements. Most teenagers think that you cannot achieve an attractive body without taking protein powder or creatine. This is completely false. My entire physique was built without ever consuming any of these supplements. Whether you take them or not is your choice, but just know that they are not necessary, so don't feel peer pressured into taking them. Now that we've covered diet, I'm gonna give you some important tips that will save you a lot of time. So let's start with number one, sleep. If you're between the ages of 13 to 18, which I'm assuming you are, make sure you get eight to 10 hours of sleep each night. If you can't sleep for that long, taking a few short 15 to 30 minute naps throughout the day can significantly boost your energy. For a better and deeper sleep, I also recommend putting your phone away 30 minutes before bedtime. Ask any professional and that's the first thing they'll tell you. This is incredibly important as your muscles recover during sleep. Number two, how often should you train? Try to train at least three times a week for an hour or so. Of course, this will be different for everyone, but once you become more experienced, you can increase how often you go to the gym. How often you go will also depend on the structure of your workout and your goals. But at the end of the day, workout volume and consistency is what's most important. Number three, rest. This is incredibly important. 24 to 48 hours of recovery between sessions for the same muscle group is usually enough. This way you prevent overtraining, ensuring better results. The final thing I want to talk about is whether or not lifting weights will stunt your growth. This is a very controversial topic online, but in summary, it will not. Weightlifting does the opposite. It boosts your strength and improves your health. You just have to make sure you're performing your exercises with perfect form and not going too heavy. Most teenagers go to the gym and pick weights that are way too heavy for them, which often leads to injury and ego lifting. You must be careful, and here are some quick tips for beginners. Always pick up weights by bending your knees, not your back. Make sure you have someone who is spotting you when you are going for heavy lifts and one rep maxes, especially on bench press. Also, never forget to warm up before each workout, especially by doing dynamic stretching. This will literally save you, trust me on that. So, you've made it to the end of the video and I can tell you're determined and I have full faith in you. Whether you're skinny or fat, it's not late to change. Because right now you have so much time, so use it wisely. I promise you, if you work hard enough and stick to it, in a few months you'll start seeing results. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you in the next video.